именно на праздник Мабон. It is precisely during Mabon festivity, always occurring on the day of the autumn equinox, that mysterious practices associated in one way or another with coming in contact with the world of the dead would take place. Because in our culture, in our understanding, the concept of other world is always related to the world of the dead. And now it is time to unveil more information about this festivity, although it is very difficult to do. The matter is that something very extraordinary happened to this particular celebration. The information regarding this specific festivity was being erased very thoroughly. The name Maybon is not its true name. It is a reconstruction. And it is good enough that it appeared at least in the form of a reconstruction. The Slavs called it Ovsen, called it Osenina, and it was, of course, timed with the end of the second harvest. And although reduced to merely agricultural symbolism, it at least retained the information of its presence, of its actual existence. But its magical meaning, its mystical significance, the true essence of this festivity is extremely difficult to restore. Precisely because it is a very important festivity. But we will try to do so. We will try to gather these grains of knowledge into one single mysterious meaning of this celebration. So let's start with its name. Mabon is the name of a god, a Celtic god, from the Mabinogion mystery. In the Mabinogion, he is described as some type of a hunter god that the heroes of the ancient tale had to encounter in order to find the right teacher for the reborn king. They called him Mabon, son of Modron. Mabon ap Modron. Ap in Welsh means son. Modron is the name of the goddess, the goddess of earth. Later she was personified and associated with the name of Madonna or Matrona, but this happened only after the Romans arrived on British land, and this is how they created analogies. And the reconstruction definitely shows us that the authentic name of Mabon and his mother Modron was slightly different. Subsequently, when the interim legendary fundamentals were being written, they were based on the ancient Welsh lore and the Graal mystery, and I hereby mean the mystery of King Arthur, Mabon appeared there as well, and again as a hunter, although as a knight and part of King Arthur retinue. If we look at these myths through a narrow perspective, then of course there is little we will recognize there. Because after 2,000 years of Christianity, the symbol of the ancient hunter became so firmly associated with the devil, a horned god, that mentioning him in any way, even merely during the reconstruction of these legends, was in fact not only indecent, but rather dangerous. And only in 1973, imagine how recently, one of the Neo-Druids and an American one attempted to reconstruct the celebration of the autumn equinox and named it Maybon, as it is the closest name that could more or less connect the ancient saga with the ancient symbolism. He found the name of this god in the long-forgotten legend 
of Olwen and Kiloch from the Mabinogion and figured out that the character of the hunter Mabon is the only god present there who is connected to this world as well as to the ancient one, and he decided to call this festivity Mabon. And this is where this name came from. And we could say that, oh, it is a reconstruction, and therefore it is not real, just a remake. Yes, we definitely could, and it is being said. But we won't. We have a hard enough time reconstructing the ancient tradition. And we can't allow ourselves not to make a few stitches on the canvas of the Mysterial Saga just because we don't have an appropriate thread and thereby forget the pattern that should be on this canvas. We are well aware of the remaining mysterious points on the Wheel of the Year, but here it appears as if a piece was ripped off. And we are darning this ripped canvas. And even a new name for this festivity will suit us in order to fit the main thread and gather the rest of the pattern. And we call it Mabon and keep thanking this neo-Druid Kelly for joining together these torn edges, even if hastily, yet making the canvas untorn, and something untorn is already able to let the power flow through it. Maybe roughly, maybe with a ripped ornament, but at least with non-ripped currents. The ancient god, the hunter Mabon, is a very ancient figure, and we will of course easily find him in other sagas, other stories. It is well known to us Kernunos or Sernunos, this time Celtic, of continental Celts, the god of the forest. Many of you know him from the Scandinavian myth as the silent god Vidar. They also called him the horned god. And it wasn't Freyr he was associated with, Freyr the light god, but with the dark and silent Vidar. One could say that Freyr is his light side, but this would be also imprecise. Freyr is Freyr, and Vidar is Vidar. And we will also recognize him, of course, in the horned god Pan. Pan, whose name means of all, involving everything. And once we commence with Pan, we would definitely get to the Eleusinian mysteries that occur precisely in this moment, during the time of the autumn equinox and would traditionally take place in ancient Eleusis. And this festivity is concealed from us just as the rest of the mysteries that would occur on this day, the day of the autumn equinox. Nine days long would be the duration of the Eleusinian mysteries, and every newly initiated mist everyone passing through this myth would give a formidable oath that he would never, under no circumstances, whether in fire or water, tell anybody what is the essence of this mystery, because this was a mystery of initiation to the dark path. And it was considered that those who went through this mystery would never be afraid of death again, because he saw what death truly was and what would happen after each human crosses this verge. Simply this knowledge would be open to them, whereas to the others it wouldn't, it would remain in the dark.
Whereas for those who would go through the Eleusinian mysteries, this path would become the path of light. And it was exactly the same dark path that was ritually held during the Eleusinian mysteries. It was said that it was connected to the myth of Demetra and Persephone. But it is not really so. The names of these goddesses would surely be present there, but it was not their myth at all that was used as the foundation of the Eleusinian mysteries, but the myth of Dionysus Zagreus, who just like the born Kupala, just like Sir Nunos, just like Mabon, and just like Vidar, on this night would experience his definitive division, and one of his sides would stay with people as Bacchus, forever drunk Bacchus, and the other part, Zagreus's part, would leave into the dark, to his ancient grandmother, Rhea Sibili, the one who restored his shredded memory. And now all of us, just like the ancient goddess Rhea Sibili, exact in the same way we will be sewing together our memory, getting rid of this tear that was ripped away in this point of the wheel of the year, on the day of the autumn equinox.